Forza Motorsport is Microsoft's highly anticipated racing simulator, a game that looks to do for racing fans on the Xbox what Polyphony Digital's Gran Turismo series has been doing on the PlayStation for years now. It combines the kind of ultra-realistic handling you expect in a complex driving game, a roster of more than 230 cars of both the mundane and exotic variety, and a feature set that harnesses the capabilities of the Xbox. Forza will find you globe-hopping in exotic locales worldwide over a blend of fictional race circuits, point-to-point -point excursions, and real-world tracks. Two of the things that make Forza so fun are its breadth of scope and its customization capabilities. Through features such as driving assist, variable AI difficulty levels, a chess-like ELO ranking used for online matchmaking, and an innovative dynamic racing line assist, the game's design caters to a massive spectrum of driving ability. Customizing your cars with new parts or paint jobs, vinyls, and decals, and then taking those unique cars online to race against your buddies in a car club or against rival car clubs means that you'll be going a long time before you're running out of things to do in Forza. There are Xbox racing games out there with more cars to drive, more tracks to drive on, and more opponents to race against, but none of them deliver exactly the same custom experience that Forza does. Like any racing game, Forza is the best experience on the track where the complexity and depth of both the driving model and the opponent AI really comes to life. Forza is not only a lot of fun to drive, but is designed in such a way as to stay consistently challenging as you progress. With seamless Xbox Live integration built in from the get-go, the line between how well you race against the game's excellent AI and real-world opponents is blurred to great effect. Perhaps what's most obvious in Forza is the graphics, especially the environments themselves. Sure, the cars look great, richly detailed and all that, but in my time with the game, I found myself often distracted by how good the backgrounds look in this game. Compare the Nürburgring in Forza to the same track in other racing games in which it has appeared of late, and there are several, and the differences are pronounced. There's a sense of depth and place to all of the tracks, as well as a sense of distance as you top hills and peer out over the horizon. It's just a shame there aren't more of these tracks to race on, as the number of racing circuits seems disproportionately small compared to the huge roster of cars available. The sturdy driving model is highlighted by a damage model that, when activated, is gloriously unwilling to let you rail slide your car around turns or bumper car your way through tight traffic. Sure, you can pull off these techniques, but your car will pay for it, to the tune of serious performance degradation. The temperamental damage model is subtle enough to even punish you for over-revving your engine at the start of a race. Forza's much type AI comes in two flavors, the opponents you race on the track and the drive guitar system. In terms of your competition, Forza's AI delivers tough racing but generally fair-minded foes that seem confidently aware of everyone on the track, you included. They'll swerve to miss you if they approach too quickly from behind, will seek to avoid bumps in side-by-side -side situations, and are as prone to mistakes and dirty driving tactics as you are, especially when provoked. The drive guitar system, which allows you to create a virtual driver profile that simulates your driving abilities, seems to be less sophisticated, if only because a created drive guitar, even a highly rated one, seems to make the same mistakes on tough turns lap after lap. This attention to detail and realism is bolstered by noob-friendly aids such as wheel spin control, analog braking aids, variable AI, and an ingenious suggested line feature that will actually show you the ideal path throughout a track, complete with dynamic speed and braking hints. Hit a corner too quick and the line will glow red, urging you to stamp on the brakes. When the line's green, it's time to put the hammer down. So how does this game compare to other Xbox racers? Certainly at the highest difficulty levels, Forza stands on its own as the only true driving simulator to be found on the console. And though a game like Project Gotham Racing 2 introduced Xbox Live integration several years ago, with features such as an online career mode, the ability to buy and sell cars online, and the car club feature, which lets you put a name, logo, and group skill rating to your clan of gearhead buddies, Forza seems truly designed from the ground up to provide a cohesive online experience. If there are Kingston Forza's online armor, it's things like the relatively short list of tracks and the ability to race against only eight players online. If you like or love racing games, Forza Motorsport has probably been on your pre-order list for some time now. If you're new to the game or curious about racing games in general, Forza succeeds because of its ability to serve as both an approachable introduction to the genre and as a consistently challenging game, one that you will continue to enjoy for months to come.